Okay, another one for you. I will risk it all. For you, I will risk it all. I can risk everything for you. Anything you need, I can make it for you. Yeah. Even it is hard to make, but I still can risk to make it for you. So for you, I will risk it all. Hello and welcome to Language Club. Thank you very much everyone for watching our video so far and thank you very much for subscribe to subscribe to our channel for like for share from our page Facebook page. So thank you very much for those things. And for those who are new to see our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more and more videos lesson from our language club and also to help us to like to share from our facebook page to encourage us to produce more video for education especially english education okay from language club today on the topic of my english translation we have a very special topic to introduce to you and for those who find it hard to understand all in English you can see the Khmer translation like this but I will speak only the English phrase today we are going to study about how to express I love you not only to say I love you but you have many more phrases to express your love to your loved one to your wife or your uh, crush, your honey, uh, someone who you love a lot. You can say, I love you, but it is very common. Uh, and you can say in many uh, different ways. Okay, let's go to the first one. Beside I love you, you can say, you melt my heart. You melt my heart. So the meaning is about what you can see you melt my heart so the first one is you melt my heart to mean i love you the second one is you're my favorite person ever you're my favorite person ever also it is another way to say i love you okay the next one is i am so happy someone like you exist i am so happy someone like you exist so this is how to say I love you instead of I love you to say uh, your present is really pleased to me. Yeah, I am so happy someone like you exists. Okay, the next one is you make me smile. You make me smile when I am thinking about you. I'm smiling. So another way to say I love you. It is really meaningful. You make me smile. Very short but meaningful. Okay, the next one is you make my heart warm and happy. You make my heart warm and happy. So uh, I felt warm. I felt happiness because of uh, your presence. Uh, it is another way to say I love you. Okay, the next one is when I'm with you, it feels like home. When I'm with you, it feels like home. You are like my home. I feel safe. I feel uh, happy, I feel uh, relaxed all the time, I'm with you. So another way to say I love you. Okay, another way, one more way is I will forever be a part, oh sorry, you will forever be a part of me. You will forever be a part of me. So it is also uh, how to compare uh, someone like uh, your hands, like your legs or like uh, other parts of your body so it is <laughs> to compare the loved one as himself yes another way is I'm addicted to you I'm addicted to you addicted <laughs> just like a glue uh, stick to another guy <laughs> so I'm addicted to you the next way is I'm in love with you beside saying I love you, you can say I'm in love with you, I'm in love with you. Also uh, make uh, more meaning to the word I love you. 
Okay, the next one is you matter so much to me. You matter so much to me. So it is also another way to say I love you and very meaningful, much more than I love you. You matter so much to me. Okay, the next one, I'm rather a partial to you. I'm rather partial to you. Uh, when you say partial to somebody, you mean you feel or you like or you support that person a lot. I'm rather partial to you. Yeah. Okay, the next one, I adore you. I adore you, very short but meaningful. I adore you. Adore means love someone very much. So I adore you, I love you very much. Okay, the next one, you are my angel. You are my angel, <laughs> angel, uh, the God, the goddess who live in heaven. So you can say, you are my angel to uh, lift someone up. <laughs> so really meaningful for the love uh, sentence. You are my angel. Okay, the next one. You are my soulmate. You are my soulmate. If you say uh, to someone about soulmate, it means you are born to belong to each other. Uh, just like the God uh, <laughs> matched you from heaven already. You are my soulmate. Oh, 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 are also really meaningful. Okay, the next one. I'm drawn to you. I'm drawn to you just like... Uh, the drawing that two people are drawn together. <laughs> I'm drawn to you, yes. Uh, perhaps uh, the God or the deity uh, draw you together from birth. So I'm drawn to you. Okay, the next one. You are my princess. You are my princess. Actually, you can say you are my prince if you are a girl. But this uh, sentence is most likely to be used with uh, the female, the female uh, partner. So the male partner will say this to the female partner. But the, the female partner also can say this as a, you are my prince. If you uh, leave out the two S, you will see prince. But for the female, we say princess. Uh, you are my princess. Okay, the next one. I've got a crush on you. I've got a crush on you. I hope that everyone, especially the young adults in Cambodia, used to hear, used to be familiar with the word crush. But to make it the right sentence, you have to say like this. I've got a crush on you, not I crush you. If you say I crush you, it is not correct because crush cannot be a verb for love uh, meaning. So you can say, I've got a crush on you. Okay, and the next one is, I'll always choose you. I'll always choose you. Simple, simple words, but meaningful, meaningful sentence. But I always choose you, yes. Okay, the next one, you've got what I need. You've got what I need. Oh, I need uh, this point, this point, this point from uh, my partner and you've got all what I need so you say you've got what I need yes to say I love you all my heart okay the next one I have feelings for you I have feelings for you <laughs> okay I have feelings for you okay simple words but meaningful uh, sentence okay <laughs> I have feelings for you okay the next one I'm fond of you I'm fond of you, I'm fond of you. So you can try this way to say, I love you, I'm fond of you. Okay, the next one. I love you more than more, sorry. I love you more and more every day. I love you more and more every day. So my love to you increase, never decrease, more and more, yes. Okay, the next one. I'm all about you, I'm all about you. It means everything, uh, from me is given to you. I'm all about you. Okay, the next one. I'm down with you. I'm down with you. It means I love you very much. I, I'm falling in love with you. Okay, uh, I'm down with you. Okay, the next one. I'm happy just to see you happy. I'm happy just to see you happy. It is to express your feeling, but it is also the meaningful sentence to express your love to someone. You feel uh, their sadness, you feel their happiness. So this one, your love will like it very much. 
I'm happy just to see you happy. Okay, the next one. I think you're the one. I think you're the one. The one I am looking for. I think you're the one. <laughs> I think you're the one. Really meaningful. Okay, I had an amazing time with you. I had an amazing time with you. It means that whenever I am with you, it is all amazing. Everything is amazing. So I had an amazing time with you. Okay, the next one. I feel something for you. I feel something for you. Also, another way to express your love to your uh, honey. <laughs> yes, I feel something for you. Okay, the next one. My heart calls out for you. My heart calls out for you. You can use your heart to express your love to other person here. Yeah. So, my heart calls out for you. Always calls out for you. <laughs> okay, the next one. I idolize you. Idolize means to make someone your idol. You follow up all their steps. So, I idolize you. Yeah, sorry. I idolize you. I idolize you mean to love someone very much. Okay, the next one is you're my sunshine. You're my sunshine compared to the sun in the sky. When they were without you, I am like living like I am living in the dark place. So when you come to me, you are with me, you are like sunshine to me. I can see everything clearly. So you are my sunshine. Okay, the next one. I'm crazy about you. I'm crazy about you. I'm crazy about you. Okay, another one. For you, I will risk it all. For you, I will risk it all. I can risk everything for you. Anything you need, I can make it for you. Yeah. Even it is hard to make, but I still can risk to make it for you. So for you, I will risk it all. Okay, the next one. You are worth the wait. You are worth the wait. Uh, no matter how long I am going to wait for you, but you worth all that. You are priceless for me to wait for the time you are okay. So you are worth the wait. Okay, the next one. I'm under your spell. I'm under your spell. You know, spell just like uh, the magic to make someone interested in something. So I'm under your spell. It means you make a magic spell to <laughs> attract me all the time. But uh, it is not the magic. It is what you want to express your attraction. <laughs> Uh, someone attraction to you, someone's attraction to you. So you can say, I'm under your spell. Okay, the next one. I'm enamored with you. I'm enamored with you. So it means to fall deep in love with someone. I'm enamored with you. Okay, the next one. Your my dream comes true. Your my, tr my dream comes true. So it means uh, with you my dream comes true or you can make my dreams come true but it is the word to express your love okay the next one i feel so lucky to have you i feel so lucky to have you it is another way to say to your wife or your husband i feel so lucky to have you okay the next one you are the apple of my eyes you are the apple of my eyes can say to anyone you like, your son, your daughter, or your children, your father, your sister, you can use all these words. But if you say this to your lover, it will be really meaningful to them. Okay, you are the apple of my eyes. Okay, the next one. You are the object of my affection. You are the object of my affection. So, object of my affection is you. <laughs> you are my, the object of my affection. Okay, the next one. My dream is to be with you forever. My dream is to be with you forever. Uh, someone asks you, have you got a dream? And what is your dream? You can say, my dream is to be with you forever. So the one who asked the question will be very much, <laughs> in, uh, very much interested in you or very much pleased for your words. So my dream is to be with you forever. 
Okay, the next one. You being happy makes me happy. You being happy makes me happy. Also to express your feeling. When the other partner is happy, you also happy. But it is not the way to say I love you. Okay, the next one. You are the most amazing person I have ever known. You are the most amazing person I have ever known. It is a bit long, but you can express your love uh, to make your lover feel uh, stronger in love with you. You are the most amazing person I have ever known. Yes, this is the best sentence for you to practice, but it, though it is a bit long. Okay, that's all from uh, love uh, sentences or uh, sentences that you can use in this chain of I love you. So I hope that this very short video will be helpful for you to say affectionate love uh, sentences to your lover and to those who you love very much. Okay, thank you very much for watching our video so far and very very great thank you for watching this video and I uh, would like to apologize for any mistake I made in uh, explaining the sentence here. So thank you very much for watching. See you.